What if series one episode five title? What if zombies? And I really liked how this episode's like. Look, how do we explain this episode? How do we explain an episode in a title? Oh no, we'll just explain it by one single word. Like it's not going to be like what if Doctor Strange lost his heart, instead of his hands, or what if Charlie became a Star Lord? No, it's zombies. What if we had zombies in the MCU? That's that's essentially what the what if is. And if your head's kind of thinking, why are they doing zombies? Like, by episode 5, have they won now what if ideas? Like, really? We're going to say, ooh, the Avengers are, are no blood eat, you know, brain eating monsters. Ah, going all the time. Well, as most things, like what if, for example, um, the zombie thing is, um, is a comic book thing. There was a series in the early 2000s called Marvel Zombies, which became this big thing of seeing the Marvel Universe and heroes and villains all being zombies. And it became a big thing, it had sequels and prequels and, and probably like skins and games and all that kind of stuff. A fun thing for like October and all that. I mean hell, it became such a big thing to have a, a combo crossover with army, yeah. You can see zombie Captain America and zombie X-Men and zombie Daredevil and zombie Spider-Man and zombie Iron Man fighting Ash William with his shotgun, his broomstick and a chainsaw, his chainsaw hand while saying groovy, saying his A is catchphrases. Yeah, but how is this episode? This episode, like funny enough, like knowing the, the context of the, of the episode. I was like, come on, really? Like, three episodes in a row where we're like, the poor gonna be a depressed as hell. Like, you know, doing a murder mystery. By episode three, it was a murder mystery. Who was coming off the Avengers? Uh, episode four, we're seeing Doctor Strange, you know, destroying the entire universe. And now episode five, we're seeing as my heroes becoming the undead and your head thinking okay this is gonna be super super dark but what they were able to do with this episode and it's a good episode it's not like the great episode but it's, it's a good episode was they were able to balance it like the avengers or the team of heroes that were uh in this story are some serious characters like with the soldier um, like Wasp, but you have characters like you have characters like Spider Man, who is a very happy, and he's the guy who's always cracking jokes, and everybody's heads are like, everyone's dead, like everyone that, that you ever known outside of us is gone, they're dead, and somehow you're able to still have quips and quips, and it's not in a annoyance, it's just like, how. How, how, Peter, how could you still keep this level of youth, youthness that you have? And by the, by the way, the guy that they got to voice Peter, uh, who they got to voice Spider-Man, they didn't get Tom Holland uh, to come back, but god damn, they got a good impersonation. Like, someone could, if someone said to me, oh, they got Tom Holland to voice Peter, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked. I would not be, I would like, wouldn't be shocked I would be easily fooled. A weird thing to impression. First time they ever met Uncle Ben. I know that's a big deal. I, I was like, ah, they say the MCU, Marvel Series, first time ever, ever referencing Uncle Ben. And it's in, in an anime What If episode. Hopefully, there's no way home around the corner. Anyway. Um, but yeah, they were able to get that levity and of it because yes there's dark stuff yes it's on me so characters are going to get slowly killed off the story is basically um the let's, let's call it the avengers the avengers that are still alive uh have a uh, have got a signal of a possibility that there might be a cure so they said go said cure and we, that's how we get a couple of action scenes in a span of like 10 minutes and it's well done you can think it's it's good, there's humour, there's some jokes, there's some things that are quite cool in this. Um, zombie Star Witch! <coughs> oh god, there's some bits I said. Um, 
I, I got I got goosebumps. I'm like sometimes I said go 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 go, um, and the scene when Peter mentions Uncle Ben, the scene of itself without giving getting spoilers away, is a really well put together scene. Um, it's a, a scene where like someone gets bitten and they have like a few minutes to live and all that. Um, but yeah, it is is a story. If you're a person who's like who loves Marvel zombies, like the whole canon of that point of the of the Marvel Comics universe, uh, multiverse. You know, I think you'll be pleased. It's just you know thirty minutes so. It, it, the thing about what if you really think about it is they're trying their very hardest to put a entire like two hour movie into 30 minutes and they have a seed and sometimes you can see it there and and the plots there and this one kind of not watches but kind of goes to the beats of this uh, plot point by plot point zombie film and um and you know the it, it's it's, good. It's, a, it's a good episode, I'm not crapping on it, it's a pretty well episode, um, I'm looking forward to what next week's episode is. It's not, it's not a go, still, last week was probably my favourite episode of the season so far, this one might be like a 